Ya ma, bye bye. Ya ma. Alright, I just drop off my mom and today's a weekend and weekend for me are the time na tumatambay ako sa aming mga friends ko and today I'll be hanging out with one of my oldest friends. Hi guys, I am Kevin. I am a medical coder by profession and I am a photographer by heart and I've known Jack for about two decades now. Okay, since yung theme ngayon ng video na to is to stay curious So parang gusto kong i-share yung story ni Kevin kung paano siya naging curious about photography Paano ako naging curious? Actually, it all started dun sa isang uh, travel photography workshop Ininvite ako ni Jack And okay. then, at before that time, nag-shoot ako pero alam mo yun, parang ano lang For kapag nag-out of town lang yung mga, yung mga workmates ko And then, right after um, nag-attend kami nung travel workshop na yun I got curious. I started uh, studying about the basics until parang nakulangan ako ng improvement ko in terms of travel photography. So I decided why not try portrait photography. Then ayun na, nag-try ako mag-invite ng kusinong model. She's just someone na in-invite ko out of nowhere sa Instagram. Si Dani ba yan? Oo, oh, si Dani. Oh. I'm now in Westgate and this is where the shoot location is and I'm going to find him out. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Instagram Stories. So, at that time, sobrang kabado ako kasi I have no idea how things will go. Pero, ang focus ko that time is paano ko ba mas may explore pa tong new found passion ko. So, I went there, I did the shoot, edited the photos and sent them back. Then, inulit ko yun over and over again with different models hanggang sa unti-unti nakikita ko yung ano yung pwede kong gawin, ano yung pwede kong improve pa. And then, until one day, na-realize ko na lang na ito nga yung something na passionate ako. Ayan, yun yung story niya kung paano siya naging curious about photography. Alright, let me just finish this video. I guess I had this thought when I was watching one of Kobe Bryant's tribute video. And parang na-mention doon yung mga best traits niya and one of them is curiosity. Aside from doon sa Mamba mentality niya na napaka-famous which means to go for it and do something you love every day. Maybe because the people around me seems to be routinary and ginagawa na lang nila yung mga bagay-bagay kasi kailangan. They tend to parang forget to ask yung how, why, and what. And parang people nowadays parang seems to just follow what is being asked of them or kaya naman kung ano yung sinasabi ng karamihan. People tend to forget what it is like to ask for a question and seek for an answer. Like, what if I try doing this one? How does this work? I'd love to make one of my own. Why is this the way we are doing this? Maybe we could do it better. Or it could be as simple as trying a new path going to work instead of trying the usual path na dinadaanan mo. I found a big fat cat. She's so big. Hey! Oh, oh, ang taba. Oh, she loves me. Hmm, she loves the belly lamb. Tiki 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 tiki. Bye bye. Oh, sungit. Bye bye. 
just maybe try something new. On my personal story, I used to hate eating Japanese food. Kasi nung bata ako, may ninang asked me to try sashimi. And naalala ko, pagkakagat ko nun, talagang sinuha ko siya agad palabas. And after nun, uh, I stopped eating Japanese food until parang somewhere in 2015 or 2016. Yung college friend ko invited me to try spicy salmon makiso. Sa Kenji Tei kami kumain. At first, I was so hesitant kainin yun kasi alam mo yun, parang ang mahal tapos isusuka ko na naman ba to? But when I tried it, I love it. And pagkakain ko nun, isa na siya sa list of my favorite food. And after that, parang Japanese food become one of my favorite meals. Another story that I'd like to share is before ayoko mag-drive. Kasi feeling ko, sobrang ang reckless na mga tao dito na if ever man mag-drive ako safely, I would still parang get into an accident. So, yun. Uh, I used to not drive before. But, I got curious about a date na gusto kong execute, gusto kong gawin. And it requires me to drive for a girl na gusto kong parang uh, pasagutin. Ganun. And, alam ko na paka walang kwentang parang reason nun. But, because of that, I forced myself to drive and parang ever since after that, I enjoy driving pala. When I was starting making these YouTube videos, I used to hate shooting in manual mode. Laging automatic lang yung ginagamit ko. But once I was able to watch yung quality of videos na nagagawa ng mga tao when they use uh, manual mode, parang na-curious ako and parang naisip ko, ano kaya yung potential ng mga videos na magagawa ko when I will be able to para learn how to use yung manual mode. And parang yun, uh, through natural progression, kagagamit ko ng kagagamit ng manual mode, parang I become used to it and ngayon, yun na yung mode na lagi kong ginagamit. This is where I wanted to end this video. Try new things. Stay curious. Don't let the kid inside you die. If meron spark sa inyo ng curiosity, let it flow, let it out, and see where it will take you. Look back to the things that you've always wanted to do as a kid na hindi mo pa nagagawa and maybe start with that. Alright, stay curious and most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and pagka talaga na-appreciate mo yung video, share it outside. That's it. See you in the next videos. Bye!